Hi, I'm Vinny, and this is Vinny's View. I'm here in my uh, lush studios, my minivan. I am fresh out of the movie theaters, literally minutes out of the theater. Um, I just got done seeing Public Enemies. Uh, this is a movie starring Johnny Depp and uh, Christian Bale. Um, the story is about uh, John Dillinger. John Dillinger was a notorious gangster in the uh, 1930s, in the Depression era. Uh, he was uh, a real-life character. And uh, he was uh, not your typical gangster. He was very suave, loved the ladies. Um, actually, he was actually a, a real big star among. Uh, he was kind of a rock star among uh, like among gangsters back in the 30s. Uh, the public admired him. He would rob banks and uh, let the people keep their money. He only wanted to rob the banks. So, you know, he was a uh, he was a well loved gangster, if you can call him that. Uh, good looking, dressed well. Um, but you know, he was a gangster and a murderer, and he became uh, public enemy number one. He was uh, the number one criminal being sought out by J. Edgar Hoover and his uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Um, the FBI was kind of new back then, and uh, Hoover was really, uh, you know, uh, he created a uh, bureau that was very, very new in the way they, they sought out criminals, they used science, and uh, Melvin Purvis, that's played by uh, Christian Bale, was, uh, the uh, head of the, uh, the 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 guys who were hunting down Dillinger and hunting down uh, you know Johnny Depp playing Dillinger. So the, really, the movie really is about uh, Dillinger uh, basically trying to uh, you know rob these banks. I think he had an ultimate goal though. His ultimate goal was to really just get away, get the big score, get away with his girlfriend. Uh, his girlfriend was named Billy Frechette. She was a half French, half Indian woman that he fell in love with. It was his goal really to make make a lot of money make a big killing and take off uh, for Caracas or somewhere far away. I think this was his main goal. I don't think he really wanted to be a lifetime criminal, but you know, this was his thing. And uh, the, the movie was really about this and him trying to uh, achieve this goal, but the FBI really trying to cut him off. And you know, these other gangsters that he associated himself with, uh, Alan Karpis and you know, Babyface Nelson and people like that. Um, and it was really a, uh, it was really quite a thing back in the depression era. I mean, it, you know, the depression was a horrible time for people and I think the public kind of this was their almost their entertainment that they could you know they kept up with what was the goings-on with, with this um, you know with, with, with these criminals and with the FBI and the FBI really put it out there in the public they were they were it was really they were on camera quite a bit and they almost became as big as celebrities as uh, Dillinger and and the uh, and the other criminals obviously as the movie goes along you know the, there's, there's gonna be a tragic ending to this and uh, you know, but you, you you know all along you're actually kind of rooting for Dillinger to succeed. I mean, they portray him as really not that bad a guy, and of course it's Johnny Depp playing him, so he you know obviously he has a lot of a lot of charisma and a lot of uh, you know character to him, and he's just a really amazing actor. And you know, I'll talk about him first. He just does a fabulous job playing Dillinger. Actually, a much more um, low key role than you're used to seeing him play. You, know, you, you see him really over the top in Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, he's played other wood, roles like Ed Wood and uh, Edward Scissorhands, where he's just very over the top. This one is a little more subdued, and he really just uses his charisma and his you know, really good looks, and he looks great in clothes, and he just really, you know, he really captivates you as you're watching, and you're really actually rooting for him as a, as a, uh, a criminal. You know, this movie is made by Michael Mann. Michael Mann is one of my favorite all-time directors. He's just an incredible uh, director. I mean, the look of his movies is just absolutely brilliant. He, he's made movies like Last of the Mohicans, which is a really terrific, terrific movie. Uh, he's also made movies like Heat, which actually I liken this to Heat a little bit. Um, even though Heat was set in modern days, uh, it, 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 it takes it has to do with a lot of uh, gangsters and criminals who are you know, robbing banks, and this one is just set in the 30s and they're robbing banks. So there's a lot of similarities in the in the way it's shot and the sound effects and the uh, the gun battles are absolutely stunning in this movie. Uh, shot like I've never seen in any other movie before. Really, really raw and uh, um, unbelievable sound, and really that's a trademark of Michael Mann. And Michael Mann is just an amazing director. And you know, go, go to the look about this movie. The look of this movie is absolutely unbelievable. Every single frame looks like a photograph. I mean, he's just meticulous when he makes his movies, and the editing, and you know, the way this movie is put together filmically is just incredible. And you know, again, hats off to Michael Mann. Michael Mann is just a 
just a brilliant director. So um, I don't think this movie would be half of what it was if it was directed by someone else. So it really had an amazing look, great, great action. But what also is great about his movies is that he, he is not afraid of having uh, performers perform. And, you know, he got great performance out of Johnny Depp, obviously. He actually got a great performance out of Christian Bale as well. You know, we've seen him kind of playing superheroes in uh, Batman recently, and uh, it certainly was just in Terminator Salvation and uh, things like that. He he was actually a little more subdued and really played the G-Man uh, role very, very well. And, um, you know, a, a, a totally different type of role for him. And he did a very, very good job playing uh, Melvin Purvis, the, the guy hunting uh, Dillinger. And he, and he just uh, really was very stoic and, you know, he just never s stops. You could just tell it. He was a guy who was, wasn't going to stop and really until he, till he caught Dillinger, until he got him. And uh, Bale did a really, really great job. Marion Cotillard uh, plays Billy Frechette, but she plays uh, his girlfriend, Dillinger's girlfriend. And uh, she does a great, great job playing her. And uh, you know, she's very, very sexy, very beautiful woman. She looks great. And you can understand why Dillinger is pursuing her and, and never wants to uh, leave her, even though he you know, ends up in jail. And uh, you know he knows it would be dangerous to come back to her. Uh, and uh, but he does anyway, obviously, and uh, you know she does a good job portraying his girlfriend and playing the object of his affection. So you, you really understand why he's kind of coming back to her. And uh, she won an Oscar uh, playing Edith Piaf a couple years ago. I really hope we see more of her in the future in some American movies. We, she's really a terrific actress. Billy Crudup is in this movie. He plays J. Edgar Hoover, and he, he does a great, great job. He, he's really convincing as Hoover. Um, I, you know he doesn't. Uh, do enough movies I think he was in Almost Famous which is really a great movie I loved him in that movie and uh, he was also in Watchmen recently and uh, he was a little bit way too naked in that movie for me but in this movie he plays Chad Grover and he does a really good job and uh, you know terrific really good good to see him in this movie you know this movie is really not for the faint of heart there there's a lot of really graphic gun battles in this movie and uh, a lot of uh, you know graphic action as well uh, but I think that's that was the that was the era back then. The era was it was very very violent. These gangsters, you know, like I was saying, Johnny Depp played Dillinger as a you know a, almost a, a rock star. But you know these guys were really violent violent men, and you know Michael Mann does a great job depicting that. And it, you know in turn it does get very very graphic. Um, but you know I like that kind of action, so you know it, it wasn't for me that I wasn't going to turn away from it. So but. You know, it is a very, very violent movie and, uh, you know, really a serious movie in a lot of ways. It really is. It's probably the first real serious drama of the summer. It's the first real drama that was a, a lot of substance that came out. I mean, there's a lot of comic book movies that come out in the summer. There's a lot of action movies, which is fine. But, you know, this is really a, a terrifically made drama by an amazing filmmaker. Probably the, one of the best filmmakers, I think. He's actually one of my favorites, and certainly in the past 20 or 30 years. Um, and it's a, it's a terrific movie. It's great to, to look at. I mean, just purely to look at the film and the way the film was made, it's impeccable, and, and the sound is amazing, and he's really a perfectionist when it comes to the way a movie looks. The action is great. So there's some good summer action there, and it's about a you know a real life character, and I think that's also very interesting. In and in a great era, the 1930s, with terrific looks and terrific cars, and you know it's just really you know what's bad about a great gangster movie? I mean, really, I mean it's a terrifically made movie. So I'm going to say see it, just because it's the most serious drama of the summer, and uh, by a great great filmmaker. So see this movie, okay? I'm Vinny, and that was Vinny's View, and uh, keep checking in every week. I'm here and ready to review any movie that comes along, okay? Thanks a lot.